Libra, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for July 15th all the way to July 21st. So welcome, Libra. We got a lot to talk about. This is going to be a powerful weekend. And uh, yeah, so this freaking weekend that's going to be posted on Wednesdays for you for all the signs is going to be a full moon edition. So we're going to dive deep into what we need to do about this full moon that's happening on the 21st. But the, the, the blah, 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 rewind the day before that on Saturday, the 20th, Mars, the planet of action, war, passion, drive, the male energy, you know, is moving out of an earth sign into Gemini, a fellow air sign. So focusing on your goals, taking action, speaking your truth, maybe to the point of things can get heated, please watch your driving. You know, the way I look at it is that Mars, this energy is moving into Gemini on Saturday, and that's the pedal all the way to the metal. Okay, that's the gas pedal. Now you got this full moon, which is in Capricorn, and Saturn, its ruler is retrograde. So it's kind of like a let's release things. Let's, let's not go into things, pedal to the metal. So that's putting one foot on the brake. So we've got the foot down to the gas and the foot all the way on the brake. That's what this weekend feels like. So let's ease up on the gas. Let's ease up. Let's kind of coast into this energy. Now, this is going to be happening in your 10th house of career recognition, um, job promotions, all of that. And it's a balance of getting things done at home. It's about being structured, more structured at work. So let's get the energy for you this week, Libra. And see, well, there's the justice card. <laughs> Every time, almost every time. Almost every time that card jumps out for you. Reminding you to always keep things in balance. Oh boy. Hmm. 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 Okay. Where's that go? Does that go here? That's where it goes. Okay, wow, Libra, this is uh, heavy and intense. We got the tower, the devil, and the six of swords. We're moving on from whatever situation has happened here. Could be related with work, could be related with just about everything in your life right now. You know, but the thing is, is that you stay away from the temptation of focusing on doom and gloom that no longer serves you. What you really need to embrace is the queen of pentacles energy. I'm worthy and I'm going to take action. It's time to take action. Again, that Mars energy is moving into Gemini and that kind of makes a trine between all of that a triangle. It's a harmonious aspect and the flow goes better. So you're able to take the action you need to. And some of you are jetting, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the outcome is excellent here with the justice, the wheel, and the fool. This is almost divine timing. This is almost like karma working out in a good way for you. And it's a new beginning. So we have an ending and a new and a beginning. So, you know, really think about that. So... Let's go ahead and get some morals because that's pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, let's get some oracles and let's see what we can do here. What else are they showing us? Yeah, foundations and achievements. That's definitely that 10th, 4th house energy you're going to be dealing with. So be aware of that. Um, so there could be a focus on home, a new way of things going at home. Yeah. Let's stop focusing on obstacles and challenges and release those. Okay. A, a, a huge em emphasis on friends and family and working together. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. Speak it into existence. And this is a much better, more harm harmonious home. All right, let's get uh, Psychic Tarot.
for the heart. We've got gaps to fill here, but there's something at work here. Something that the wheel's turning, man, and it's in your favor. Observe how you feel. Are we focusing on obstacles and challenges? Are we looking at everything as too much of a challenge when it could be an easy flow? You know? So... Daydreams and decisions, make them happen. And all you really need to do right now is focus on joy and stability. That's huge. That's huge right there. And two fours, we'll probably get one more. Let's look at love, because I got a feeling this has to do with a relationship. Boy. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, see, there's there's a lot. I don't know. There's a lot of disruption going on here. And then we got the moon card. So probably around the full moon. Let's not let's not entertain drama or anything like that. You need something that's going to reciprocate. See the, the scales here. The balance is all putting in the work. An offer comes to you. You just need to be patient. There's divine timing at work here. I got a feeling you're, you need to say something, but after the dust settles. For some of you, there's a message there. But continue to put in the work in yourself by feeling joy and stability in everything that you do. You know, see, that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing with you. You probably uh, are wrapped up in what's going on here. And you don't need to be. Life doesn't have to be so dramatic. Just go with the flow. Lean on, speak up. Lean on your, your support system. So really think about that. All right. So let's go ahead and... So there's something going on with a relationship, but there's going to be an offer coming in. This is a new beginning for some of you. I think. I think a lot of you are done... You know, I think some of you are a lot, some of you are done and it's time to move on because I, you know, you deserve better. And, uh, oh boy, those cards came out just like that. Oh boy. All right. Let's get some messages of love. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Okay. Is this genuine? Does this happen all the time? What's going on here? You'll never know unless you have a conversation, you know, and you've got to make a decision. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. They may reveal themselves on that weekend. You know what I mean? You're going to be like, what? <laughs> All eyes on you, Libra. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. For some reason, I'm getting, for most of you Libras, it's both of you. Both sides. For some of you, I think it's just you, but you're moving on with your thoughts because you need to feel more secure and stable in what's going on here. You really need to trust the process too. I mean, that's evident. You really have to trust the process. So let go of that regret. I got a feeling somebody treated you not so nice and you just keep on keeping on and they eventually come and apologize, which they should. All right, let's get some messages. Anything else for Libra, please? please? Whoa, whoa. Reassess. Libra, you're being asked to take stock of your life and let go of anything or anyone that no longer makes you happy. Hell to the yeah. Notice who and what bring you joy and who and what don't. It's time for some life cleanup. That's the way I can describe this reading. This week... You're going to be doing some life cleanup. And oh boy, does everything turn in your favor when you do. Surrender. Mm. You're being asked to let go of your need to control each part of your life and surrender to the universe. Control is an illusion and it's exhausting to try to hold on to it. Let it go and allow yourself to enjoy the relief that comes from doing so. Libra. That's pretty powerful. There is something here that as soon as you let this go and surrender to it, it opens up. And that's no bullshit. That's for real. 
All right, Libra, that's going to do it for this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I Surrender in the comments. Don't forget personal readings in the description. Freaking Weekend is going to be a full moon edition on Wednesday, and I will see you next week.